morning. Um, the story this morning, um, I'm actually going to read um, just because I thought it was so well written. Um, and Gilbert knows it very, very well because this was his story in his Sabbath school lesson this week. Um, but I just loved it so much, I thought it's a message for all of us. Um, and there's actually a memory verse that goes with it. And Gilbert, could you read that for us? He loves his own people in the world, John 14. Very good, thank you. Okay, so the title of this story is called A Special Supper. Um, we wash our hands before every meal and before we eat anything. But a long time ago, Jesus helped his friends wash before supper. But it wasn't their hands that he was concerned about. Peter, John said quietly, take John with you and go into the city. Look for a man carrying a jar of water and ask him where we will eat the Passover supper this evening. Peter and John soon found the man Jesus had described. The man showed them a large upper room where everything was ready, even a large jar of water and a basin and towel for washing their feet had been provided. <clears throat> but something was missing. What do you think was missing? A servant. Yes, usually a servant washed everyone's feet before this special meal, but there was no servant. Each of Jesus' helpers, or disciples, looked forward to having his feet washed. Dusty roads and warm weather had made their feet tired and dirty and stinky. But they just kept looking at each other. They didn't um, offer, none of them offered to do anything. Soon, Jesus and the rest of the disciples came and sat down at the table. Peter decided he wouldn't say anything about not having a servant, and the rest of Jesus' friends didn't mention it either. No one wanted to do the work of a servant. Then, Jesus stood up. Without saying a word, he took off his coat, he wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured some water into the basin. Then, Jesus began to wash his friend's feet. Quietly, he moved from one to another. Most of the disciples were embarrassed. They remained silent. They knew Jesus was the Son of God. They knew that they should be washing his feet, but no one moved to help. When Jesus finished, he sat down. Do you understand why I washed your feet? He asked kindly. The disciples listened closely. I am your teacher. Jesus said, I am your Lord, and I am giving you an example of how to treat other people. Serve others, help people, act as I do. Jesus smiled as they nodded their heads. The disciples did understand, and they would always remember. Then, Jesus broke some bread into pieces and gave some to each of his friends. He took the grape juice, and passed it to everyone. The bread and the grape juice represented Jesus' sacrifice for us. He told us to eat the bread and juice often so we will always remember how much God loves us. Today, when you see people washing each other's feet and eating and drinking the special bread and juice in church, it is to remind us of Jesus' unselfish life and death on the cross. He wanted his disciples to treat others with love as he did, and he wants us to treat others with love too. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for your example for us. Please help us to not think it beneath us to um, wash others' feet or humble ourselves to help others the way that you did. Help us to see everyone through your eyes of love. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank <laughs> you.